Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 30 degrees, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 60 degrees, and this angle uh, ABC is uh, 90 degrees. And moreover, the perimeter of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 48 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are dealing with this uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle uh, ABC, so therefore we are going to talk about the characteristics uh, of a special 30, 60, 90 triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to this angle is going to be our uh, smallest leg. And 90 degrees, uh, this one uh, is our largest uh, angle. So therefore the side opposite to this uh, angle is going to be our uh, longest leg. And this uh, longest leg uh, is also called the hypotenuse. So in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, uh, the longest leg uh, is always uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. In other words, uh, if the smallest leg is uh, one unit, uh, then the longest leg is going to be twice of that one is going to become two. And this uh, third leg is going to be square root of uh, three. So therefore, in general, if our smallest leg uh, is uh, X units, uh, then our longest uh, leg is going to be 2 times uh, x and our this uh, third leg is going to be x times uh, square root of uh, 3. And we know the perimeter of this triangle ABC has been given to us as uh, 48. We also know the perimeter is the sum of all uh, these uh, three side legs. So therefore, uh, I can write uh, the perimeter P is going to be equal to x plus 2 times x plus x times square root of 3. So let's simplify. P is going to be, if we combine the like term, that's going to give us 3x plus x times square root of 3. And now we know that our perimeter P is 48. So therefore, I'm going to substitute 48 uh, over here. So therefore I can write uh, 48 uh, equals to here I can uh, factor out uh, x. So therefore this could be written as x times uh, 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. And now I'm going to isolate x by dividing both sides by 3 plus square root of 3. We can see this is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 48 uh, divided by 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying uh, its conjugate. So the conjugate is uh, 3 minus uh, square root of 3. I'm going to multiply and uh, divide uh, at the very same time. And now we are going to multiply 48 uh, times this uh, numerator. And likewise, we are going to multiply these uh, denominators as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. A plus B times A minus B is equal to the difference of two squares, A square minus B square. We are going to apply it uh, at uh, this uh, denominator. So this denominator is going to become uh, 3 square minus uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square. If we simplify that, it's going to give us uh, 9 minus 3 so that is going to be equal to 6 so therefore uh, this uh, denominator has been simplified to 6 so therefore uh, this could be written as x equal to 48 uh, times uh, 3 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 and i'm going to divide it by 6 and if we simplify this one uh, x comes out to be 8 uh, times uh, 3 minus uh, square root of uh, 3. 
and since our x value turns out to be 8 times 3 minus square root of 3 so therefore this uh, leg AB is going to become 8 times 3 minus square root of 3 and likewise uh, this uh, leg is going to become 2 times x so this is going to be 8 times 2 is going to give us 16 times 3 minus square root of 3 and finally this uh, third leg is going to be x times square root of 3 means we are going to multiply this thing by square root of 3 so this is going to give us uh, 8 times square root of 3 and then times 3 minus square root of 3 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case uh, this side is uh, our base and this one uh, the height uh, of this uh, triangle so therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, our base is uh, 8 times uh, square root of uh, 3 times uh, 3 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 and then uh, times uh, I'm going to multiply 8 uh, times uh, 3 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we can see if we multiply these uh, 8 times square root of 3 times 8 is going to give us uh, 64 times square root of 3 and then divide by 2 so that is going to be 32 times uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore uh, this is going to become uh, 32 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and then times uh, we are going to multiply both of these so I can write this one as 3 minus uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 times a b we are going to apply it uh, on this part so therefore uh, this part if we take the square of that one that is going to give us uh, 9 and then plus uh, 3 minus uh, 2 times 3 is going to become 6 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 12 minus uh, 6 uh, times uh, square root of 3 and we know 6 is in common so we can bring this uh, 6 outside so that is going to give us 2 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore uh, this whole thing has been simplified to 6 times 2 minus uh, square root of 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this whole thing by this one and now if we multiply 32 times 6 is going to give us uh, 192 and at the very same time I'm going to distribute uh, this one as well so therefore this could be written as uh, 192 times uh, 2 times square root of uh, 3 minus when we multiply these uh, two radicals that is going to give us simply 3 so thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 192 times 2 times square root of 3 minus 3 square uh, units so thus our triangle ABC area turns out to be 192 times 2 times square root of 3 minus 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 89.11 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye